All right, guys. Round two. Atlanta, Georgia here. Train spotting. Lovely. It's some abandoned place down here, I guess. I, I thought she said that she didn't really know. But you get up here and you can kind of see something's in the uh, in the way here. So I saw a guy on YouTube was jogging on one in Wyoming, Montana. He said it was abandoned. People were making marks. Like, how dare you say it's not abandoned? It's not just being missed. It's just dormant for a while. Like the guy thought because there was rocks in the middle of the track, you know. It's like it's, if it's not, it's abandoned. They would clean it out. when they need to use it, you know. Take your power road even though you use it very much. So you get all upset. I, I, you come down here in Georgia Peach and smoke some weed, right? Sit down down here and have the time of your life. I think we need to torch up the last cigar I got on this little trip, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yep, so I don't know what's going on here. For all you train guys, but this line is in Atlanta, I have no idea. Great play. This would be really cool. On the other end down there across the highway, there's a field. You'd buy it and make a, a train a train restaurant a train restaurant. And you'd have like um, you could have uh, bachelorette parties, you could have baseball teams, you could have their banquets on the train, weddings, whatever, and have a I've seen it before where the train a little trains deliver food to your student like hey, it looks like table 19 turn 21 today. And they bring it, you bring another beer, but who's counting? It's third one, right? So they would learn about trains, and then they'd have all kinds of uh, what are they, model trains cruising around. You have different trains there, cabooses, whatever else, and be a train museum. And they'd take this trail with a train back and forth, and just kind of reinvent trains for this generation who don't care about model trains. It's a shame. I gave my nephew my set a long time ago, and his, his son uses it. It's a racetrack and race. It's a, we have one back in Minnesota, a couple places that you can watch model trains. There's one in Ohio I want to go see and one in New Jersey. There's a guy, in, I think, 12 Productions I like. He's really good. So that one kind of, I don't know how far this goes, man. Hmm. That parked up the trailhead up here, but down there and I walked around, down by Chattanooga, very beautiful. We had a few people, some of wanted to, hey man, you want to get an eye, man? I'm like, no. So. You can tell there's some animals down here, there's some poop down there. I think that's kind of cool. This was in Minnesota, there's no way we'd get around in, in, with the snow. Yeah, trail, train spotting. I heard a train. I'm trying to spot it. I did some, I, I've been doing that lately, going to walk across some railroad bridges. Swing bridge back, that'd be cool. So look at this tree. Mm hmm. Railroad guy's got to get out of here, cut this thing apart. You know, he's gonna get hurt. <sighs> Put Georgia Peach to work. I got a chainsaw. Get down here and cut this thing. What the hell? Oh, Jesus. Those old, old men can't walk across that very well. What? Great day for a walk in lovely Georgia. Great state. <laughs> Atlanta Fakers here <laughs> couldn't handle the hockey team. They're uh, they're they're uh, hookers. The pumpkin bowl team. 
they have the ugliest stadium there. They really did. It's an ugly stadium next to up in Minnesota. The uh, People Stadium is ugly too as well. Noah's Ark. Yeah, nice flight down Delta. Sat first class, going back tonight. Been down here for two days. Did some rail fanning you guys saw before. So, we'll be up in the non-monetized channel. It's fun to do this kind of stuff. Go walk around towns you don't know and, you know, I'm glad his mom, we had, we had that, uh, that, that uh, really nice steak, sh steak shop down there in Atlanta. Uh, what's his name? Um, used to promote it all the time. Sean Hannity does. Good steak place. A lot of good, a lot of good soul food restaurants in Atlanta. A lot. Women are gorgeous. Oh, the sisters. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Was how, if I had no self control, oh my goodness. So it's kind of cool. Whoop. Whoop. Chipping over a tree. I almost went ass over a kettle. Kind of walk up in the bay, trail up over there. Who knows where that goes? Kind of fun to follow that. So that goes somewhere over there. I have no idea where. So who knows? Lots of trails. This would be a great bike trail. It's a shame that some in Atlanta, who's a Home Depot guy? Come on, man. Put your money to good use. Call it the, call it the, uh, the Falcon uh, bike trail in Atlanta. Why not? Just throw some dirt over it. Put your money to good use instead of wasting on the National Fix-It League. Probably cost you $5 million, Drop in the bucket. Yeah, you can kind of tell. This behavior. Yeah, I tried to get Georgia Peach. Tried to get his mom to help me out. She's like, yeah, he's not the easiest person to try to get him to work. I'm like, yeah, I know. These things are nasty. Those are not fun. You get an animal with something in their hair, you're screwed. And look at this, what a mess. Come down here, pitch a tent. Group sex parties. Nope. Little ra rail fanning. Train spotting. What do you guys think, huh? Nothing like having a cigar on a nice Atlanta day. So, I guess him and uh, Cash and Dave did a podcast today, I guess, ripping on me, gambling. I'm going, like I said, Diamond Joe's, it's called, in Iowa. Going down there for week 12. But three losers. Talking to his dad, Dave 25, on the phone, yelling at his mom. I said, if you love your mother, you kick him out. If my mother, my both my grandmas died when I was like 10 or 11. If I talked like that, that age, my father would execute me. I smoked dope one day when they were divorced on, on the property. My mom, he was so mad. He was ever smoke dope on your mom for your mother again. Never. So. I don't know. You gotta get down here and. Do some maintenance, boys. Do a walking stick. Anyways, there's a Christmas tree. Come on down here and make it into a Christmas tree. All right, guys. Merry Christmas from Atlanta. On a tree in the middle of nowhere. Hell yeah.